Hi, my name is Alyssa Price and this is Bad Mom Jokes and I'm here with my friend Kate, rock star mom of four. Hi. I left the door open so we're going to hear <laughs> kid noise for the next hour so I'm going to go, I seriously you guys, I haven't been recording, <laughs> I've gotten up and back down about four times, have I not? It's oh okay. Alyssa, Take back. 20. It's okay. This time of year, we're all burnt out. School, <sighs> we're done. It's, yeah. it's, time, it's, it's time for summer. Yeah, it really is time for yeah. summer. It's time for summer and like the, the stay-at-home mom perk of the year to lay on a beach and ignore your kids. Right. While they drown right. in the ocean. <laughs> or not have to like make lunches and get out the door at a yeah. certain time. I totally. hate that one. Yeah. Yeah. So um, this is Bad Mom Jokes for those of you that are just finding this for the first time where I invite a friend every week and we remind moms everywhere to do less mm -hmm. because parents are people too. Mm -hmm. uh, be sure to subscribe because that's the nerdy thing I am telling you to do right now and click the bell. I saw these guys recently on YouTube and they're like, they're like, the bell, ring, tap the bell. And they're like doing a whole dance. I'm like, I'm so jealous of people that can just earnestly or like blatantly be like, you Tap know, just bell, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, subscribe. Hey, we could do like a little booty dance for the bell or whatever, but you know On what fire. to do because yeah. because this is important, I feel, for moms yeah. to be reminded like, hey, for society to be reminded that, yeah. that, that the pressures on women nowadays are quadrupled and it's a lot. Yes. Because even though we're it's starting to, day and age. Yes. Yeah. Like we're starting the conversation of us being people too. Uh -huh. Like I think I would have been considered insane to start this conversation at any other time. Right. However, women are doing way too much. Yeah. It's not just the home. It's not, no. you know, like, working people, whatever. In yeah. general, we're too hard on ourselves and we do a lot for way other people. And yeah. a lot of times we don't take care of ourselves. Yeah, because there's no, we don't have an advocate. There's we're no our own advocate right. and all the people we're caring for, like, I don't want you to stop doing that, so I'm going to make you feel crazy to take a break. Oh, I don't know about other people, but I have guilt, too, if I do that. And for I know sure. stuff has to be done. So I have, I've just learned how to allow myself to go get my hair and my nails done. It's so dumb. <laughs> it's not dumb. <laughs> I felt the same yeah. way because I'm on spring break yeah. right now. And... Um, my mission was to do a staycation and that's not worked out because when the kids are playing iPad all day, I feel guilty and do housework. Right. I'm not breaking and I feel bad they're on their devices. So right. it's like, I feel like crap at the end of the day. Right. You got to leave the dishes and just get out of the house. You yeah. have to get yeah. out of the house. Yeah. It's Here's important. to getting out of yeah. the house. Word. Okay. <laughs> I thought someone else had my coffee for a minute because I forgot. It was <laughs> You're like, Alyssa, this, There's I love you. This cup. But yeah. this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> More sleep needed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, getting out of the house is a little harder than said because we've been trying to get together since January. Has it been that long? It has. Well, huh? Yeah, it has. It has. You're, so we had a sleepover at your house. We did one We did one boards. after that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I guess maybe it's February. Okay. Because we did um, have a sleepover at your house in January. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that was January. I can't believe it's April. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, because that was what? Three months. Two months. Almost yeah, half a year ago. Time, right? <laughs> and uh, I want to ask you, first of all, it's bothering me how warm it is. Is it warm in here to you? I'm okay. Yeah. Are oh, you but, okay? Yeah. Either Should way. I open the window? Sure. Then our neighbors can hear about how moms are, <laughs> how parents are people too, and they Maybe can be they like, need to. Them. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, all my neighbors <laughs> that don't have kids. No. Right. Okay. <laughs> are there really no other kids in this No, building? there are. There okay. are. There's just across and sharing my walls, they don't. So, but there are other people with kids, right. definitely. We've got a lot of kids here. Um, so anyway, so yeah, January vision boards. How did that work out? How is the vision, like, how is the vision board influencing your life? I'm curious. I mean, it's in my closet. <laughs> <gasps> it's in your closet? I haven't even been looking it's at it. It's not even yet. a place of respect. No. You know. need to put it like over the toilet or somewhere. I need to move you're gonna... it. I need do you to move like it? it? Yeah. Like when yeah. you look at it, do you feel like, okay, I made a vision board. I can believe oh, it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mine is straight. I and made my, it very organically. Like, so yeah, I feel where everyone legit. that walks in the door can see it and be like, I this crazy it. bitch has it. a vision board. There's too many people in my house, so I start to get like ah clutter, and I start to just clean and put stuff yeah, away. So I that's understand just, you. I have thought about putting it away because when I see it in the background, like in a video or whatever, I'm just like that part of the house. 
It's adorable. There's yeah, a lot it's, happening. That's like the picture you took where I was trying to hide the cupboard. Like, yeah. We all have that part of our house For where you're sure. like, don't look. <laughs> yeah, this is where we don't take pictures. It's a project yeah. I haven't gotten to like in that, three years. Like the yeah. Instagram lie when you get really close to something. Yeah, because you can't perfect. see the rest of the house. You pull the leaves off the floor in that one Heck shot. yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Get the oh. cat hair out. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So you've neglected your vision board. I mean, I haven't been looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, would you go home now and put it in a place where you'll look at it, or are you just over the vision board? I will probably put it where I can see it in my closet when I get stuff, but I probably, I don't know, maybe it'll come out to my dresser, but, you know, I got to clean, and when things are in my way, it bugs. I got then, so, so much vision to do. board is yeah. too cluttered for your taste. For I completely right now. understand. Yeah. Right I now. thought about putting mine in my closet because you do. You still see it you when open, you open the door. And you get yeah. your clothes in Yeah. Because I do think a vision board only works if you're looking at it on a regular Every basis. Every day. No, yeah. agreed. It's like positive affirmations. You got to yeah. keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I believe in the vision board. Like, I am a believer. We're only sure. two, back, yeah. two weeks back after spring break. And that, yeah. that, like I said, this time of year is always like this for me. Yeah. At this, especially coming back from that break, it's always so hard to like. Yeah, and the let's time talk about change that. really fucks with me. The time yes. change really fucks with I me think, and my kids. So yeah. it's like, I think there's people working on eliminating. That yeah, we, I voted on it. They I said too. they were gonna. It's I'm just a pretty whole matter sure of it fact. passed. Well, it did pass. But yeah, it's a whole other thing of them actually executing it. Right, yeah. and then getting it to fully. I mean, pass I get that it's complicated, but if Arizona can do it, we can do it too. It's not complicated. The yeah. nature does it by itself. Why right. do we have to make it more yeah. extreme? I honestly you know had I mean? no opinion about it until kids. It's nonsense. It f's with everything. No, I'm my, working on. A friend of mine looked it up and said there's more stroke more car accidents, more heart attacks after the time change because yes. everyone's systems and sleep yes. patterns it's amazing. are disrupted. Yeah, it's just that one hour difference. It was difference. made for the war. Twice it was year. made for World I War was, II. I thought, is that when it, I thought it was for farming. That's what they wanted you to think. They made a whole propaganda Wait, so poster, get your hose out. Oh, I want to hear and this. It's about, I don't know. I just found out the truth when I Googled it because I thought it was about farming too. And so it was during, not. So it's even more dumb. Okay, so during <laughs> World War II, they implemented it. Uh-huh. And was it a way to disorient people? I don't I mean, know. What's the deal? Or to get I them mean, to I'm work totally longer hours? I'm totally into conspiracy hours? theories, so uh, I believe that's I why know. they're still doing it. I love that about you. <laughs> like, keep them Trust disoriented. no one. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> Well, don't watch Zeitgeist. Are you? I mean, yeah. if you watch that movie, you'll then... I mean, that's and I right, already was that. that way, so once you yeah. watch that, you're just like... <laughs> oh. I mean, no I think hope. the reason I am a conspiracy, I don't believe in all the conspiracy theories out no, there. No, some are totally out there, but there has to be some to be. It's more our brain. I think it's the way our brain works. Because when we don't trust something, you what we make, make a, up yeah. is usually, we have to make up a reason. Like we're reason making machines. Like right. when someone dies or like when my, my, my daughter got diagnosed with diabetes, like you want right. to figure out why. Like right. I figured Makes out it was a curse it. that dates back to my high school days or maybe a curse that dates back to an accident I had at the same age or you know what I mean? Like you uh -huh. come up with all these, the mind That's is crazy. That's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. And I think sometimes if we just knew the truth, say like what's really going on with Trump or what's really going on with 9-11, it would be kind of boring compared to what we come up with, you know? But we don't know and so then we come up with, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's more interesting to come up with something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I love I'm it. trying to make sense of stuff, but yeah. Yeah. Because it makes no sense. Why do we change our clocks? It makes no sense. There's no. no reason for it. It it really is the days shorten on their own. Yeah, and that would happen naturally, yeah. and your clock would still the. What? Yeah, like Alaska can deal with uh, dark months of days yeah. and months of nights, and that's it's just the time. It's very silly. It's crazy. Yeah, so hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So yeah, still recovering from yeah, that. Yeah, mom everywhere. I mean, honestly, I could sleep for a month. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. I got three night full nights, the last three nights in a row, and it's just not enough. My body's just like morbid. It almost makes you more tired at first. It does yeah. because you're like, I need to more catch up. of that. Yeah. Like you are in a Sucking serious deficit it right now. No, Kinley got up at 3.40 last night, so I, and I didn't go back to bed until 5. I'm so and sorry. Then up at 7, so what's that? You know yeah, what I mean? It's not it's even nothing. sleeping. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's zombiness. I'm sorry. Cheers. Drink up coffee. Yeah. 
Can you, you got a needle? Really, <laughs> it's true. And that's why I say you're a rock star mom of four because only moms know about sleep. I mean, I think moms and people like working in the military are like the only people that know about sleep deprivation. Well, and sleep deprivation yeah. is a form of torture. Absolutely. <laughs> and it messes with your head it and drives you can't you ever get it back. Well, sleep helps you reduce stress, helps yeah. you deal with stress, helps your eating because if you don't get enough sleep, your brain doesn't do that trigger thing that tells you you're full. So mm. there's all kind. sleep is just as important as food or water. Absolutely. So it's, you know. Yeah. For With four kids and a lot of disruption. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I've told you this before, but it really makes you feel like you're high on drugs during the day. Absolutely. Like, like right now I'm lightheaded like, and foggy. Yeah. Because like, I'm so tired and it's foggy out. So I will all yeah. day be, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I have a joke Doesn't matter how that much I think only moms will get because no one laughs at the open mics, but it's like sleep, sleep deprivation, the poor mom's cannabis. <laughs> because it's like you don't yeah. need to even take a drug it's to almost feel like, like being you're hungover. Yeah. yeah, hungover <laughs> and maybe like you got very high the day before right. you know, and you're just kind of right. like stony. Right. Which I, so I lean into that feeling and just accept it, you know, but. Absolutely. I swear. Make progress every so day, whatever I it is. I live here in what, yeah. we live like basically Los Angeles, West LA, like uh -huh. these kind of affluent communities. Yeah. And I feel like I can only <laughs> imagine what the other crazy moms think of me because they're like, so they have like two nannies and a high power job and they always have like their nails done and Zero their outfit. lunches. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm come, I roll in like stony as hell. But that's because they have a team. They have a team. They have a freaking team. Yeah. And their kids are like, hey mom, I'm over here. But <laughs> But it's, that being said, right. I'm the one that looks like the crazy mom that needs to grow up. You know what I mean? Like I hanging mean, out in comic book stores and skateboarding accidents. You know what? No, 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 no. There's nothing wrong with being childlike. You're not yeah. childish. You're responsible. Right. I am responsible. That's actually Buddha. Like you're supposed mm. to remain childlike because then you're curious still about the world around you. I, so those judgmental oh bitches can take a hike. I love curiosity. Right. When I find a it's curious evolving. person, I'm like, you're in the circle. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's how you evolve faster. It's how you grow right. faster as a person. If True. you've got it all figured out, you're not going to grow. No, if you, you're dead. If you're full of judgment, yeah. you're not. Yeah. For you sure. you got some own issues you need to work yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. You know, you point your Absolutely. finger, there's three pointing back at you. That's yeah. my little therapy thing. <laughs> Wait, so you got that in therapy? Or yeah, is that I don't just know somebody... which therapy. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> like, I can't remember which One therapist. day in therapy. I wish I... My mom died when I was six, so I've been in therapy my whole life. But yeah, you point your finger at someone and there's three pointing back at you. Because my whole life I've worried about what people think of me because I'm crazy because my mom was crazy because she mm. killed herself. So it's like, so I've it always been the down. fly on the wall and watched and been very, yeah. Wow. Observe it. That's how I raised myself, essentially. Isn't that powerful? It is, but I have a very different perspective on the world than most people, so I'm yeah. alienated by that because people don't get me. Wow. Isn't that weird? Well, and yeah. we both come... So you grew up in Santa Barbara, and uh -huh. I grew up in uh, Los Livos, and we right. come from kind of towny places. Hippie, yeah. Small town. Uh-huh. And that is really hard when, when people decide who you are before you do. Yeah. Uh -huh. You're living under a microscope. I really grew up with that. And, and Santa Barbara can be very stigma. pretentious. Yeah. I don't, so how was, so did you feel that people did kind of put you in that box? Label? Of, mm -hmm. Yeah. And how did you deal with that? I mean, I was a really quiet, really good kid. I just kind of went along. Yeah. Mm. I didn't rebel or get nuts until high school. And then that's when they're like, oh, what happened? What her mom oh, is see, coming she's out. she's crazy. Like yeah. her mom. Yeah, it was puberty, but yeah. <laughs> right? You're like, that's kind of every teenager. Yeah, I really... I mean, there's certain types that are more rebellious, I'm finding out as I raise teenagers all over right. again. There's certain types that just have that personality, and sometimes it's the smarter ones. Right. I am, I am the smarter about ones because you see the there's time. so many flaws in the system, yeah. and you're like, fuck that. So, well, I was just thinking, I really am so glad we're talking about this because I think we both have a lot to say about it and I was just thinking how I think why teenagers are inherently more rebellious is because they're fearless right and when you're well, not afraid of your mortality or what people but that's think true or at that the age system, their brain is goes, invincible exactly. that is true from like 12 and to so 16. it's a very typical thing to be like f this you guys are I crazy got to go yeah. along and like mm -hmm. fight the power like my shirt like hooven to whatever you know Hooventude. fight against yeah. the, the youth fight against the establishment, establishment yes and um, I have one of those. and then you start your brain your survival mechanism kicks in and you're like oh maybe i don't want to spend my life in jail and well, 
ways also, to weigh, or they or, have a you know, or die on the streets of the city, or right. yeah, exactly, or fall off a cliff. Their brain is also completely rewiring and reshifting, so there's not they don't have the same way to filter information. It's a mess. It's a hot mess with yeah. all of that on top of it. Plus, this world that we're living in with phones and over uh, overstimulation mm. is it's kind of a technology a, a tech toxic time. You Do know you what I mean? Feel People it? Are tech sick. I mean, my two year old is psychotic with my phone already, so I have to really monitor that when yeah. I use that device as as a babysitter, which we all do. It's survival. If we don't have nannies. Oh, I will not get through the grocery store. No, I can't. I will not get through the grocery store if I, I hand use my phone. it, and I don't feel bad. <laughs> I mean, no, but I do I'm, it. But I'm, but I'm very like yeah. you know. I pay attention. Yeah, she she will go find it and grab it, and oh my iPhone. It's yeah. crazy how she can navigate it. Yeah. So it's locked. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then they can unlock it. But then she's you know? she's crazy baby when yeah. you take it away. It's yes. a, it's like drugs. Well, you know, I did have um someone that was a childhood development person tell me when you're in the middle of your show and if someone were just to turn it off without telling you, you would be really upset at them because you want to finish right, your show. Right. So so it helped me when they said, tell them you have five more minutes, or you have ten uh -huh, more minutes, uh -huh. and they agree to that, right. and they're much more. And I had to do that because my son, he is really into Mega screen tech. time. Yeah, I mean yeah. that he I mean, would do it all I day, feel like every they day. All are. No, but see, my daughter is not. Okay, my daughter will lose interest and go and play or okay, go and so color. On, but on the flip side yeah. of that, my really good friend, her son, same thing. Yeah. He just built a computer. Exactly. So there's and they give and they give mm -hmm. scholarships now for yes. playing video games. So. It's just about balance. Yes. It's I about believe balance it is about having, moderation and balance. Being because, out in nature mm -hmm. and not being on it for more than two hours at a time. For my teenager. Littler kids, it's shorter. But my teenager's got two I hours won't at a time lie. I let my son go for longer than that. If it's the weekend or holidays, we, we do. Yeah. We have a job. Yeah. There's, lo right. there's longer. But I'm, yeah. I mean like on the regular basis. Airplane rides. <laughs> right. Right. There's I, I actually let him go longer even more than I think is healthy. But I do agree that is something he's got. Like he understands video games in a way I am floored Never will. By. Yeah. Uh, he wants to do coding camp. That's what like, I mean. So it's... He's, it is what who he is. Where my daughter, it's a way for her to watch like Veg little baby videos yeah. and like mm -hmm. you know take notes about the her girly world. <laughs> and then she wants to go do it. You right. Know? So it really right. depends on the kid. It I does. Think. Yeah. It does. It does. So yeah. Um, but with this rebel thing, so I've been going through a comic book phase. Nice. I don't. Did you, you watch Umbrella Academy? No, I don't. It's Should a good I? One. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I like it. A lot. Okay, I'll check it out. So I did like their um, advertising campaign. It's it was fun. Really interesting. Uh huh. Ooh, I'm all about. Fun. So this was just a free one that they were handing out at the um, comic book store, and there's this character in here. This is why I think there's this like perfect this reason that it, the comic book world is exploding for me is I have kind of that nerdy side, but also they're writing female characters like they've never written them yes, before. Yes, they like, are. Like, they're so yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah. And Did these... you already see Captain Marvel? No, I, I didn't see yet, that, but I, but I saw. Okay. I finally watched Spider-Man through the Spider-Verse, and Whoa. it is, well, all of us loved it. Really? There's strong female characters. Is that the cartoon male... one? Yeah, it's, it's drawn like nothing I've really seen. No, but like it's the new animated book. one with the like sunflower song old. in it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Kimmy yeah. and Devin love it. Yeah. yeah. So have you it's really seen good. it? Oh, yeah. Watch it multiple times. Right? We own it on Prime. And like the female characters. <laughs> yeah, she's like, awesome. The, uh, female, yeah. This is the, the female, female Spider-Man. Spider -Man, Spider Gwen, uh -huh. Gwen, Spider Gwen, Gwen something. So um, From the alternate parallel universe. So this universe. particular... <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was so great. And they gave all of them comic book series. I don't know how long they'll go with it. Oh, but cool. This particular character, Ember Kavan, how do you say that? Mm. Con Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh Quaid. So she, to me, when I see her, this is us as teenagers. Right. I just have a feeling. Tank this, girl. This is the prototype because she's like. I had a um, tank girl snowboard. What's that? Tank Girl? Yeah. Super 80s. 
Oh, oh you're going to Google Kate that Girl? after. Oh, yeah. Okay. Badass punk rock. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Do you remember the skate shop in Santa Barbara? It was yeah. the Church of Skating. Yeah. I remember when some of my guy friends took me in there. I was like, oh, this is so cool. So That's cool. cool. A, Go get like, your DCs there. Yeah. yeah. I was just or like, oh, Etnies. Remember when what, it was Etnies? What's happening? Oh, my Etnies? gosh. Etnies. America was Etnies. So, did, so you <laughs> see, I didn't grow up in Santa Barbara, so that would have been, we didn't go in there. That all was the like, I was older. Heaven. Yeah, all yeah, the time. It's yeah. still there, I hope. It, well, it moved, but yeah, it it's still alive. Because it was as far as I off know. of State Street. Oh, no, 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 Street. I follow them on Instagram. Yeah, I they're think. still around. There's a really cool skate shop here. Um, Rip City? Is it Rip City? It's mm. been there since the beginning Forever. of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like Caucasian, adoles- adolescent female, health within normal parameters, but then it's like parents that are divorced, da da da, all these issues. Um, antisocial, non compliant behavior. You know, like I just feel like this is the prototype for like a lot of teenage girls. 80s teens, yeah. <laughs> and what's so hard about it in adult life is I look back, I'm like, I was really working against myself. Absolutely. Like you're really the only one you're hurting in that, but it's like. Everyone kind of has to go through it. You have to because. It's kind of a rite of passage. It is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and you learn from it. Yeah. You know what I mean, you learn from being uncomfortable. So, like, all of that's. I don't know. It's such an awkward, uncomfortable stage. It creates a, a part of your character you'll always carry with you. For sure. You know? Yeah. We should make a kind of a private club for, for women that had that in them, like that dragon, rebellion, 80s, you know, like. Punk rock thing, yeah. Or even, because some of them are going through it now, but usually you feel kind of, you're in the minority. You're the one chick in your group or the You're one, the black sheep again. Yeah, yeah. You're the, in the 80s black it was sheep, normal. Yeah. <laughs> like club or something. Yeah. I mean, I guess uh, in Santa Barbara it was a very um, counterculture environment. There was a big punk rock scene. Yeah. We had the upbeat from Carp. We had, you know, Ska. There was a lot yeah. of that going on, yeah. I feel oh, like. Oh, totally. And then Pal Peralta is from there. What so. was the venue in Isla Vista that got shut down? I saw them at Caddy's there, and it was a dump. I'm friends with them. What? Yeah. Shout out. (laughs) Shout out to the Mad Caddies. Before they were the Mad Cabbies, they were the Ivy League. And but then that they couldn't use that name because there was some other oh, band or entity using it. Okay. Um, and I want to claim I want to claim this. I don't know if anyone's gonna agree with me, but I was like romantically with like you know for for a little bit uh, Chuck. He was he's the lead singer. Amazing. Like we were dating. Amazing. He dated a lot of girls, but of course, yes, yeah. we, were, we were in love briefly uh-huh. and um, <laughs> madly, madly in love. And we were was it on his parents' property? And then Uh-oh. one of my other friends, we were camping. There was a fire and people were playing guitars. And one of my other friends, Carter, I introduced them. Amazing. And I feel like I kind of connected him. And then he, Carter, I think, might have been in the band for a little bit, but then dropped out of it. But I think that might have introduced him to Sasha, who is one of the guitarists. And then it grew. Yeah, I mean, they were the Ivy League, Uh and we were like their groupies. Like, Uh we would go to coffee shops and listen to them. Band Aids, yeah. And I remember. (laughs) Band Aids. Is that a band? (laughs) A Band Aid. Oh, I was a Band Aid. I mean, I really, it was a very brief amount That's of time. Cute. And then they took off and they, they were all really like, cute. They I were mean, all great. They were all amazing yeah. and very talented. Yeah, yeah. Very talented. They're so talented. And I'm so happy because it's like they're really taking off for them again. They're it on is? Tour. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they're like back at it. Amazing. Full, full speed, amazing. whatever. Yeah. And, um, uh, I remember that's when Gwen Stefani was just taking off, yep. and they all had the biggest crush on her. And I remember sitting I saw in high school at the Underground, uh, very the cool. one that was down by the train tracks in Santa Barbara. Yes, and yeah. Sublime, and yeah. a tiny venue. Yeah, isn't that amazing? <laughs> I remember I saw yeah. the Mighty Mighty Bostones at UCSB in a tiny, like 300 UCSB people were there, and it was one. yeah. So amazing. And I remember House of Pain was playing at that place in Isla oh, Vista. Cool. That I can't remember the I name of. I can't remember of. either. It was like not the Anaconda. Was it the Anaconda? It was like something that like that. Was weird. that it? Maybe. And I remember I had to use the bathroom because we were partying in Isla Vista. And it had like dumpy school ceiling, right? I just I just remember weird, being like, yeah. I'm here and this is happening. Uh, like I'd be like funny. pinching, you know? Yeah. I mean, wild, wild parties in Isla Vista. Oh, yeah. It's amazing, I re- it's amazing we survived. <laughs> it really is. I only went to a few, and I remember one I went to out of nowhere. I'm just puking 
in, in the hallway. <laughs> and no one even batted an eye. That was like just... Normal. Totally normal. Some girl puking as she goes down the hall. Yeah, and if you were in any he, house on Del Playa, your feet stuck to the floor. Like, for that reason. The floor reason, was sticky. Yeah. And nobody cleaned their houses. It was so, so gross. crazy. Beer everywhere. People <laughs> would sit on the roof in lawn chairs oh, just hanging so out. Gross. Yeah. So nutty. So Wild unsanitary. party. <laughs> really? Is it still like that, do you think? I mean, since that one guy went on a rampage driving They've, through East been, Bay, I think it's a little bit better, but I don't know. I yeah, mean, it's still a huge party school. Yeah. That's why I'm glad I didn't go there, because I think I would have just maybe died. Right? Because... <laughs> On Holy Weekend? I mean, my family was. Oh, no. okay. All I'm, right. I'm, I learned how to do this at the Episcopal Church, but... Um, an atheist, agnostic. I believe agnostic. in a higher power and I'm yeah. spiritual, yes, but I'm not same. into one specific. Yeah. I so think, happy Passover and happy yeah, Holy Weekend, right, happy everybody. everything. <laughs> right, all enco encompassing. Oh my gosh, so wild. Yeah. Oh, so that's what I was going to say. So I'm sitting there in class with Chuck, and he's just like like stars in his eyes about Gwen Stefani because yeah. they had just seen her. She's adorable. She's so adorable. Yeah. And they had just Talented. seen, and she was just on the rise. Like she wasn't huge no. yet. It yeah. was just like, she was this, oh, have you seen this in her girl? cutest little young face yeah. all punk rocked out. Totally. Yeah. And yeah. with this band. And she, I think she had played at San Luis Obispo and they had seen mm -hmm. her or something like that. And I was so jealous because like he is so in love with her, you know. <laughs> and then of course she became this huge star. So right. now I get it. Bye-bye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, right. later. Right. Yeah. But that was, that was, Fun Good times. times. Good yeah. times. No, yeah. I mean, we're lucky to grow up. It's a unique place to it have grown up. Yeah. And then it's and the wine Atari's country and Barbara. there's famous people yeah. everywhere. There, there really are. Yeah, there really were. And this, yeah. oh, speaking of famous people everywhere. So I met Michael Jackson because he was in Los Olivos right. at his ranch. Did you go to Never Never Land? I did. <sighs> I did go to Never Never Land. Nothing happened. And I have to tell did you. Did you watch that documentary I yet? Haven't, I haven't watched it yet, but my I girlfriend's like torn. And I'm yeah. really, I know I need to because there's this huge conversation. I've felt so much sadness about it. Yeah, it's a bummer. It's it's one of those things where I knew probably something had happened because right. why else would there have all been all those be lawsuits? Up. Exactly. And, you know, how, why would he and go to court? And it just looks shady. If it walks like a duck, it's probably a right. duck. Right. Yeah. So, but I know that it, but there's been a cloudness of sad or a cloud of sadness for me because like I have a watch from the time I mean, that I, love I went him. there. I, love I his had music. I love his I music. Love his music. Um, Talented man. I have so many fond memories of being at Neverland Ranch and like right. listening to black and white and like meeting him and right. being on rides with him right. and just being like, This is amazing. Right. And I have to tell you now, if he would have invited me through the arcade to his bedroom, I would have said yes. Right. Because I was just so starstruck. He of wasn't course, in the girls though. He wasn't. Yeah. I would have been like like, sign me up and, right. you know. Who knows what would have happened. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, probably would have been totally day, thrilled because I was a little yeah. older at that point. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but that being said, yeah, it's, it's really awful. sad. Yeah, and I have to say, I think it's sad how America, we make it into a, a inter, to entertain ourselves. It's gross. It's gross and when dirty really and tragic. It's just, it yeah, is. It's tragic. And there were so many at the people end of the day, Well, at the end of the day, we're all human. And yeah. there's a lot of broken people out yeah. there. And people need to realize that mental illness, one in two people will suffer from a mental illness at some point in their life. Yes. Yeah. So a trauma can set that off. Yeah. Like he had a very strange childhood. Yeah. I mean, it's all kind of just... It's all back to that whole talk yeah. where we need to open the gates for people to get help for mental illness and not make it such a taboo thing so that we can protect other people. When I also think so many Americans are sick. That's what I mean. I mean, it's and like... because the we, access to help is so still yeah. taboo and still not mm -hmm. so... Like, I've even had people tell me stories of, I've been trying to get into therapy, and they're like, do you really need to go? And even when I just tried to get my son, and they thought I was overreacting, and I was like, you guys need to just take it in right then, and then assess it. Don't start telling me, are you sure he needs to go? Well, like, they make it seeking, into, like, you're a problem. Like, you need right, to have... But that's what I mean. A Life real is problem difficult to Life society before right. they give you the access. Right. And that's wrong. It's that's, so that's wrong. wrong. It's it so we're all to be, human. We're all broken. We're all, we all do things well, that just we regret. Life is hard and you need help processing it at some point or another. And, and yeah. people end up getting hurt when grief goes unaddressed. Yes. So with all these people walking around with grief that they have nowhere to put it... Yeah. When I also think of how many people helped him create that situation. Right. There was housekeepers, there's parents. Like I, I think about the fucking parents. No. I don't yeah. care what the parents say. Right. My ten my son who's seven, he or ten or whenever he works in the industry, he is not going anywhere. Out of your sight. No. Because yeah. yeah. I, no, I know. Like I see casting directors look him up and down and I'm just like, Ew. Well, yeah. but that's the he look. 
If anyone thinks that that's not human nature, they've got another thing coming. Right. We're I all think animals we all, at the end of the we're day. We're all animals. And <laughs> yeah. I do no, not, I don't hate the animal, but I'm going to protect my kids. Right. And I'm not going to make that person wrong, but I'm not going to leave my son alone with him. Right. Especially overnight. Trust your instincts. And it's like, I don't care how big of a celebrity you are, I'm going to be there. If you want my me. son yeah, to gifts. stay over, I'm yeah. staying with him in the room, not you. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, 100%. These parents going, oh, I saw everything. Thing was fine. Well, I they wanted care. money. They saw dollar signs. Well, they, they saw also free saw gifts. Fame. They saw right. Like That's they what I saw mean. like and maybe like, it'll rub off. And I've been thinking <laughs> about this so much with Drew Barrymore because. Her mom just let her be. Oh, mom, well, what happened? The party girl. Oh, no, she's fine. She's well, did totally something fine. Happen? She survived. She survived. No, she did come out the other end, but she, she had a rough one. Yeah, yeah, because you know, she her mom let her be her. the party girl at seven and nine and ten, and that's when you exposed need, her to the wrong. Things well, and but the thing early, is, yeah. is she that's exactly what the entertainment industry wants a cute little girl to be. You know what I mean? A like Lindsay Lohan they're it, gonna yeah. find that mom and daughter that's going to be that for so them. So they can take the child over. Because yeah. <laughs> the thing is, is we love a little girl to entertain us. Mm -hmm. We love, um, you know, uh, Shirley Temple. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we love. Um, uh, what's that called when someone's like an adult before their time? Like a uh, love old soul. What do you mean? Like a what? start with an L. It's a word that I can't think of right now. Like. Um. Um, <sighs> I'm you not, know, like a little know. girl that's very sophisticated. We love little kids that act like adults. Oh, for you know? sure. Yeah. You know, so if a little girl walks in with a glass of champagne and she's it's super cute. vivacious yeah. and, you well, know, the life of the party. There's a little girl going viral on because they're yeah. doing stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah. We love to be entertained. So mm -hmm. to then make those people wrong, it's like, what do you think the entertainment industry is? It's a freak show. It you know? is, yeah. And there's these archetypes. And unfortunately, it takes a real little girl to create that. And so I think, I don't know. I think we do live in slightly healthier times in that I think there's more, like, well, the policing of mm -hmm. parents. Yeah, and the rose shades are gone. And, you know, the smoke screen is... I think they yeah. lifted. Yeah, yeah. So, like I don't think people really knew what Drew Barrymore was doing behind closed no. doors, like at parties no. and stuff. You no. know, yeah, and tabloids. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I know Maddie says she wants to do it, and I've and not. She I mean, wants to. Yeah. And Who I'm, doesn't? She, well, I here's do the too. thing: if I had a dollar for every time yeah. someone told me she looked like Dakota Fanning, we'd be done. Wow. So it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, okay, she looks like Dakota Fanning, and yeah. let's go. Yeah. <laughs> and she wants to do commercials. Probably and she wants the to do best place to start would be an acting class to see if she really likes acting right yeah right if you need recommendations let me All know right yeah yeah anyway. good luck it's um, scary it is scary yeah. but at the same time college fun <laughs> yeah and i mean the truth is it's a hard hard path i won't lie no i know my husband did it remember yeah that's right yeah that's right so there's a lot he, of rejection wait, wait, tell us about that he was in those commercials from the 80s he was in a frosted flakes commercial yeah. in the 80s i don't know exactly what your 80 i don't know late 80s probably um a kickball one that you can find on youtube and i actually used to see it every weekend because i raised myself watching saturday morning cartoons and I remember looking and watching it, and he's t he plays a jerk in it, and I'm like, that guy's a jerk. <laughs> I married him later. <laughs> you married? So when you met him, did you know it was him? No, I didn't know until like so ten years of marriage. <laughs> and then I was like, wait, what's your Frosted Flakes commercial? And he's like, oh, this kickball one. I'm all, can you find it? And then we found it. And I'm all, I know this commercial. Like I remember this commercial. And you remember hating him. this little kid. I mean, like, that guy's a jerk. Because he plays the jerk. The jerk, yeah. Like, he's like they, you better be good at kickball yeah, or whatever to yeah. the other kid. And he's like, oh, I'm great. You know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the other kid eats his frosted flakes. Yeah. Yeah. And then what <laughs> happened for him after that? He did another 80s movie, like a Krav Maga cult movie um, yeah. called The Perfect Weapon. He has, uh -huh. like, a small part in that. And yeah. then he did, like, a voiceover in Beethoven. Yeah. But that's it. He this is the thing what people don't realize. He went to do, you know what it is? He went to do uh, Jack. Remember the movie Jack with Robin Williams? He yes. read for the same part as the little boy. He read for Steven Spielberg and didn't get oh. the part. And since then has just been, I think, crushed. Like, if we're watching that, he's like, turn it off. <laughs> this, absolutely. So the rejection that and comes. And this yeah. is what people don't understand. To get a voiceover role in Beethoven and to do that Krav Maga movie he beat out probably a couple thousand other little boys. Absolutely. That's what's so insane. Like, I booked um, a high school health video. That was my first thing I ever booked. Nice. And it, for, like, Texas Institute or whatever. Right. It was so horrible, you guys. 
I mean, I've just worked. booked this handful of horrible things, and it was really hard to get all of those things that were horrible. Right. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's right. what people don't understand. Is no, you go on thousands and thousands so of crushing. auditions against a ton of people, yeah. and you see all those people, and then you get yeah. told you're too this, you're not this, you're too that, whatever. People and have no idea. The rejection is hard. It's yeah. a lot and of rejection. And that, like your husband, to read for Steven Spielberg, mm -hmm. some people never even get to do that. Right. So if anything, that was a green light. Like, keep working with That's the agents. That's what I said, but he's and got keep zero doing it. But, yeah. but the truth is, to get the chance to maybe work it's with him and miss that bus, because yeah. you know you may not, that's like a life a game changing experience. Right. But the truth is, it's only for the people with the toughest skin or someone that's dumb. A lot of work. It takes a lot of work. I've watched some actors; they're just so dumb they don't know that they're not they're getting rejected, and that works too. <laughs> like you have to be either super dumb. How do you turn that off? Yeah, yeah, you have to. Like I can't turn that off. That critical side. Me like neither. I have to work through it. Yeah, you me know? too. That's but amazing. But like some people don't have it, uh -huh. so they're just like eh, every time they go in the room, even though everyone's like, "That's an idiot." Right? right. Who cares? They're gonna work well you're a while. clown yeah if you can do what the yeah. director's asking you to do and you yeah. look the part then yeah. there you go it's really it is. half of it is looking what they want to look you to look like and if yes. you don't look like it then that's that yeah it's like being just a a piece of an meat. inflatable yeah. doll yeah. <laughs> yeah oh my god so crazy um no and i mean if you think about it like beyonce she worked her ass off like you don't get oh, to where you're gonna get it and probably don't stuck, work your, and I sacrifice mean, you have to be so ambitious right, right. and just Probably be a horrible person too. Like step it's on so many people. It's hard to balance. <laughs> yeah, it would probably be like, really hard to balance. Sorry, bitch. I'm gonna betray you because this is my shot. You God, know, who like knows? yeah, who knows? Soulless. Yeah. You just have to be soulless. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a random question for you. So uh -huh. when we got together in January, had this sleepover. I may have looked in your medicine cabinet, your toothpaste, because I had to like do the finger toothpaste trick because okay. I didn't have a toothbrush that morning. Okay. Your toothpaste was so clean. So, do you make your kids clean it? Like you know mean? the so you know the toothpaste too. Oh, the actual too. And I was like, oh I was my like, do god, you mean what brand it did I have? New. And mine gets was so it new? I don't Maybe know. It, <laughs> it didn't seem like new, new, new. But you it was were surprised. So clean. Yeah, interesting. I was like, how do you maintain this? Because mine gets all like gunky, and even when I clean it, it looks like gunky inside. I don't like, know. I make my kids only use a pea size amount. Like I am a crazy but, person about wasting things. Okay, pea size amount. But do you make them clean it if it gets dirty? Like, what is your secret? They just you have four don't kids. do it. They just don't. But like, I'll take a pea size amount and a little bit gets Still on the lip, everywhere. and then it's kind of gross, and so I'll like try to avoid that little. Piece I don't know. On the we lip, put it on, and, and then like, it's. I don't know. It becomes this like kind of weird corroded mess. I have to. Wipe I don't off know. Every... That's really funny. I've yeah. never noticed. <laughs> you have the cleanest toothpaste I've, never I've ever seen ever. That's really. So don't you don't even know. No, no, they just do it's a good job. It's not a conscious effort. No, I get mad because they spit half of it out before even using it into the sink, yes. and then it's stuck to and the do sink. Do you make them wipe the sink? Uh huh. Yes. And then it's I make them like brush better. First of all, you're just spitting it out. I don't like wasting. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! What did you call it? I hate wasting. Tell I them hate. your term when you saw um, upcycling. It's upcycling. Not new. That's not a new term. I I've never heard it before. I love it. I'm gonna you're upcycle. So I love it so much. So you're not recycling it in the recycling. You're Repurposing is what I think upcycling is, or yeah. you make it new again. You, you know? make it better than it was before. Okay, so the example for those of you like me that don't know what upcycling is, <laughs> I'm a nerd. Um, when it my comes to daughter <laughs> has, you know, a frozen castle that she got for Christmas, and she had a Christmas tree in it that used to be a Christmas pinata. So it went from like a Christmas tree pinata that just meant for the trash to being like. A Christmas a Barney's tree miniature Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> that she uses all the time to play with her dolls. As so if it were Nordstrom. Yeah. 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 It's like a Nordstrom tree. It's like more <laughs> important than it was before. Right. I love it. It's pretty it. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you had another um, term that I really loved. You Instead of super, you said... Soups. Soups. <laughs> Again, it's just because I have teenagers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Soups. It's soups cool. It's soups. <laughs> this is soups. Okay. Um, oh, it. and then I want you to tell me about Two Bit Circus. Oh, Two Bit Circus is a really fun virtual reality arcade, essentially, for adults and children. So it's like an upscaled uh, Dave and Buster's, is how I like to describe it. And so does everyone wear VR glasses? Okay, so there are carnival games 
like throwing a ball at the um, balloons to pop the balloons mm -hmm. or or like things like that where you do Arcade, interesting, uh, but it's a boots. screen oh, okay. instead of an actual thing. So it's virtual reality in that way. And then, so everything's basically techie. Uh, and you're wearing, are you all wearing Not goggles? for those ones. The okay. carnival games, you're not. There's a little area that's carnival games. Then there's uh, another area where you do a VR maze where you literally have <gasps> the backpack, the VR, and the thing in your hand, and you walk through the maze and like feel like you're gonna, it's insane. I didn't do it. My kids did it. I had the baby, but they were like. Did they get sick? No, they loved it. Uh, a couple so of times cool. they got stuck in the maze and like I had to go and get them because they didn't know what where I to mean, move. I mean, if you need to, could you take the goggles I'm off? I'm sure you could, but you're out. wearing all yeah. this equipment and holding it. So like my eight-year-old, you know, like, like she was just uh, like, am I going to uh, fall? Uh, yeah, so it's legit. Like apparently Jack Black went through with his kid and they were talking about like his reactions to everything were so fun. I'm like, I'll I wish I could have seen that. I think it might, I couldn't find it. I tried no. to. I, I'm not the best with the Google searches. Okay. And since you're already a YouTuber, you might be able to find it. But yeah, it's not, it's not even been open a year. Yeah. And um, you can get, like, you get your playing card. And this is in downtown Los Angeles. Downtown Los Angeles. Okay. Just past downtown, kind of in the industrial area. Is it very expensive? I don't know because my girlfriend bought our things because oh, for, for her son's birthday. Got it. There okay. are rooms you can get. That's a cool birthday party. Mm -hmm. There are yeah. rooms you can get with the VR games, some of the VR games and the VR stuff, and it's all immersive. And That's you, really impressive. It's really fun. And then there's a bar. Yeah. Oh, and then they have a robotic... I posted it on Facebook. They have a robotic uh, bartender like in the Pee Wee Herman that oh, literally cool. shakes up and makes your drinks for you. And is he a good bartender? Yeah. Yeah. There's a human He's to make sure too. incredibly precise. There's a human to take it from robot to you. Uh, so the there's human's like, vicious. I still have a job. I'm the bitch, you but can I still, still tip got me. a job. Yeah, still tip me, but it's oh fun. My it's goodness. a lot of fun. That is so cool. Yeah, I thought it would be fun for like an adult birthday well, for I was sure. Really and it's like excited. open until one or two in the morning. Nice. Well, I think that would be a great uh, And there's bad, food. Occasionally I do these bad mom um, night out pop-ups. Right. Yes. That would be a great bad mom. That would be a great one. That's a really good one. Yeah. Oh, fun. And yeah. I'm so glad you brought it up because um, I'm going to a VR event at YouTube Space tonight. Oh, fun. And I it just it's fun to hear how people are using VR in a way that's actually working. There's another like, place, Dreamscape, I think it's uh -huh. called. It's another immersive yeah. VR thing. It's not games, but if uh, you walk with dinosaurs or you go scuba oh, cool. diving. cool. It just yeah, opened in LA. Experiential is definitely... Um, I think they're going to... Popping think up we, everywhere. I, I assume they'll use VR for therapy. Like you could be in like a room with rain Meditation. or yeah, yeah, like something that's soothing, like and it would be good for you. Yeah. Why haven't they done that? I yet? feel that they're going to. I feel that's in the works. So that's our poor man's patent. Nobody take it. Yeah. No, I, I definitely feel. I mean, that just makes so much sense to me. Or museums where you're walking through an exhibit. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really great, great use for VR because I think for entertainment, it's just so pa it's so isolating. I think people like limited. to experience uh -huh. entertainment together. Mm -hmm. Although we were texting back and forth recently and we were talking about how we wanted to meet up. But it's so hard to meet up with their mom friends because you've got the kids and all this stuff going Struggling. on. Yeah. And like you don't want to load them into the car and you've got dinner and bedtime. Mm -hmm. And I was like, meet you in the uh, VR living right, room. Right. Do you remember that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That'd be amazing. And there'd be like a uh, uh, living room with yeah. like maybe like naked male waiter, like Chippendales <laughs> waiters bring, bringing <laughs> us our drinks and popcorn and we could all like see each other. Channing Tatum. Yeah. yeah. We could like smoke a bowl together. Right. But then I'm thinking like we would so get tapped as those neglect moms because we're with, I told, I told her sound canceling, uh, uh, noise headphones. canceling headphones. Yeah. We can't hear our kids we meet screaming after at bedtime. us. Yeah. We would have to meet after bedtime or else people would be like, that's neglect. Yeah. Which it kind of is, That's but it's hilarious. like let's face it—they can handle a, handle an hour They're without fine. us. They're fine, yeah. especially your kids are and getting older. Siblings. Well, my yeah. babysit each other. Exactly. At what age can you leave your kids alone doing that? Do you think? I think legally it's twelve. Oh, it is. I, I didn't think know so, that. Yeah. Okay. Google it. There's different yeah. ones. There's legally so the like how old they have be to be, or how old they have to be to be left in the car. There's all right. kinds of different. It's different. It's it. different. I've Googled it. I hadn't even because... thought about that. Like, oh, and, go, and a child service. Well, there's crazy yeah. people out there. <laughs> yeah. Some people leave their babies. Well, that's what I mean. I would it's, never do that. I but like when either. I leave it's my insane. older, like my older one with the baby in the car, yeah. I've always been like, is this all right? Yeah. Because I don't want, I, the last thing I need is right. for someone to. 
For sure. Um, <laughs> I feel, I was talking to my husband about this. Um, my parents would do that. They'd do like a Friday night date night where they'd like go have dinner and ice cream or whatever. Mm-hmm. My parents were teenagers. That's really cute. They're like, their big night out. Like, let's go get a bowl of ice cream. Fair swill. Like, they didn't yeah. even drink or smoke or do anything. Like, go they're so beer. straight edge. Um, I'm like out on the patio, mommy time with my bowl. Like, <laughs> Anyways, it's okay. You do what you got to do. To each their ladies. own. Yeah. <laughs> Parents are people too. Survive. Okay? Yeah. Um, they would have their bowl of ice cream, and uh, I think I was probably like between ten and twelve. I was the oldest, uh-huh. and we would just stay home and you know watch movies and. They would come to the door and knock on the door and say hippopotamus and then we like, and then we'd like open the door for them. Yeah. You know? yeah. I mean I walked home alone when I was like ten years old and yeah. I had to cross Foothill to get to my home. You know, wow. Foothill, right. That's <laughs> impressive. I tell my kids and it was on the blind hill that comes up the hill. So you'd like I would run for life because I wouldn't know someone would be flying up the hill. The eighties were great. They were, right? <laughs> Yeah. And my parents were pretty strict. So, I almost feel like I was raised in like the 60s. Really? A little bit yeah. more Yeah, where I feel yeah. that I am raising my kids now in the 80s when everybody isn't. A little more loose, yeah. I'm so <laughs> loose. Like when, have you seen those ladies that do like the 80s mom versus like the, the mom from now? No. Oh my gosh, I've got to send you these. Yeah, please. Whenever I watch those, I'm like, oh, I'm so the 80s mom. Yeah. Oh my gosh, where my parents were definitely like. 60s, 70s, yeah. much more buttoned up. You know? Really? Yeah. yeah. Here, we'll I would say visitor. that's 50s then. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, I guess so. But they yeah. were very like hippy dippy, like Still on that, you know, yeah. like playing yeah. the guitar and doing home Astrology. church on Sunday. Yes, yes. Yeah. I do know that. I do Hello. know that. Hello, you Hi, opened Katie. it. When did you learn Hi, how Katie. to open doors? <gasps> oh no, is it? Oh, are you guys Hi. fighting? <laughs> you got what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, Jesse, it's not a thumbs up. This is because you're not watching them. Hi. My husband's in charge. What there is an adult here, believe it or not. Wait, what's her number? Well, they must have had a disagreement. Are we not showing toys? What happened? What? Okay, what is she going down? What, what happened, sweetie? <laughs> you want me? Okay, Raleigh, Raleigh, wait, wait. Okay, wait, she doesn't, she wants some space, I can tell by the way she's... Raleigh, I'm, we're, we'll wrap, there's, we'll wrap it up. <laughs> well, there's a couple more questions I have for Kate, but... Wait a second. Oh, no, you're on camera. Yeah, you're in my video deck. Did you sign a waiver? Forever and ever. Did you sign a waiver? Intergalactic <laughs> performance rally, 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 for rally. many light years to come. Oh. Okay. So there we he's go. trying to cheer him. Is right? mine cool? Wait, she just went back to play. Wait, wait, did you guys, did you guys have a disagreement? Oh. <laughs> did you and Kinley have a disagreement? 12. I'm sorry. Did something happen? You just want me, you're tired, and you're ready to be with me? That's the oh, witching you're hour. tired. You know what? Um, this is going to be a hard day because I'm leaving tonight for the first time in three weeks. Mm. So I'm so not going to be here. I'm leaving at 3.30. Oh, that's hard. To go to that VR event, a YouTube right. space. I'm really excited about it, actually. It sounds really cool. Yeah, it's a fireside chat, and there's two people presenting, like one from NASA and one How from How did you get into else. this? Because I get, um, because I'm a YouTuber, YouTube, uh-huh, they uh-huh. send a, the it, events calendar, and some of them cool. are open to all. So, Raleigh, I love your shoes. I don't have to be famous to go to the event. I know, it's cool. I'm like, how'd you do that? <laughs> right? If I'm ever <laughs> able to bring a guest, I will sign yeah, this up to I'm go. Because it's a cool space. I've only mm. been a couple times, and they do really nice events. Wait, is it with, in like, Culver City? Yeah. I was going to say, they're, really, in, they're in really close Playa. to you. Yeah, yeah, like near the Home Depot. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. that new area. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. yeah, they do nice events. Cute apartments. With like cute little courtyard. Appetizers and drinks uh-huh. and yeah. They do movies in there in the summertime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Um, so Raleigh, we'll, we'll, we're going to finish this video. You need to go to Daddy if you need. You can find one of it. He has a toe. He has a mole on his toe that you could maybe hold on to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Only mommy's with mole. This? Well, yeah. she, so I have a mole that she likes to play with. It's her Comfort lovey. thing. 
Oh, yeah, I try cute. to give her lovies, and she's like, no, I just want Molly the Molly. Oh, my God. That's yeah, really funny. Yeah, I know. Funny. I want to cut it off, too, because it's like a that needs to be horrible. In, you need to write that in somewhere, sister. That is hilarious. I don't think I'll ever forget it. Come on, write it in. That write needs it to in be to part work. of the oh, show. Oh, anything. My, oh, anything. speaking of stand-up, so we have a mutual he uh, friend, Heather, uh -huh. and she's now has this oh. stand-up connection in Vegas. She does? Yes. She knows a stand-up comedian. I'm blanking on his name, and he said, he Shoot. can get me stage time so like let's go there hang out let's have you been to her dad's place yeah i haven't yeah he has a pool yeah is it cool like should we do it it was empty last time i was there but yeah. absolutely the pool's empty well it was winter time i think they had drained it for winter <laughs> she's like i have a pool and we show up we're like we well, could skateboard I'm maybe they filled it by now okay it's getting right. warm again but okay. i was there in december because i told jesse yeah. i was like you come hang out at the pool with the kids no and it's we'll fun go and, do and a it's a good size house um, yeah yeah. yeah, and it's not far from the strip, and Vegas I usually do trip. the whole. I usually do the hotel tonight. Okay. And then just get the cheap hotel for eighty bucks that night on the strip. Okay. Because you can do last minute deals for sure. like that, and it's yeah. amazing. We got Mandalay Bay for eighty dollars. Oh, great! And then they upgraded us to a suite. Oh, I love upgrades. We're all about that. I got a baller suite for a hundred bucks. That's awesome. <laughs> With me and my kids. Vegas does have the deals because they want to get them people and if in. It's, but that's what I mean. So, like, if you go to her house first and yeah. then you have that option, yeah. then you just see what you can get. And, yep. like, it's almost always Mandalay, the MGM. Yeah, and then you get Which pool. one has the Lazy River? They almost all do. Like, yeah. Mandalay has one and has the, the beach one. and yeah. a wave pool. So, that one's fun for kids. Right. Um, but, I mean, they're all... Yeah. You know. My husband's hilarious. Once he gets in that lazy river, he'll stay in for like five hours. Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah. And yeah. then he doesn't want to go out because he's tired, so he can right. stay in with the kids. Right. We'll go hit the comedy club. Amazing. Let's I'm do it. really serious about this. Like, summer hits, <laughs> and we are, we are Vegas Let's bound. Do this. And we will take you with us. Okay, moms? Um, get my facelift first. Oh, I guess we did talk about all that. We Good. did. Check, check, check. Yeah. Oh, I have some gifts for you. Yay! Okay, so my hairstylist, Holly Jones, gave this to me, and I felt like um, this would be like a good like bad mom's joke gift for a guest. Cowboy it's, comb? It's called the cowboy comb, and it's a mustache comb. That's what I thought. I was like, is that a mustache? It's shaped like a little mustache, oh and um, she knows my sense of humor, and then I texted her. I'm like, you know what else this would be a good comb for? <laughs> like a bush comb. I was like, comb out your pubes. And she just thought that was so hilarious. Because, you know, I feel like pubes are back, you know? Oh, like long... have you watched the Amy Schumer stand No, I haven't. haven't. Did she talk Growing all about it? Growing is hilarious. Okay. And talk about woman empowering. It is. I love Every that. woman. I even made Madison watch part of it. There's only one part where she talks oh, about careful. sex where I yeah. took it out. But okay. my daughter who's 12, I had her watch it. Because they yeah. talk about celebrating your period. And, like, if we if we celebrated our period like men do, their D-I-C-K <laughs> picks. Right? <laughs> How different it would be. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. I I feminist can see. Stuff. She's pregnant and pulls up her dress like, oh my gosh I could just see riot. it now yeah, she's hilarious I could just see it like the trending like bloody period but she talks like, about millennials Instagram. not knowing about what pubes are so she goes into a whole bit about how like how we have to wear pads and then it sticks to your pubes and then she yeah. goes sorry millennials pubes are <laughs> oh hilarious that they're so in the dark because they just all wax everything <laughs> well and also everything is so puritanical in our culture it's taboo to talk about this stuff it's really, so dumb you're singing my, my, my microphone I love your song though I love you too but it is yeah. this is not do you like it should I keep it Raleigh. <laughs> uh, I have one more gift Adorable. for you. Oh my god! Because you're, right. um, you're a woman with a mission, and oh, you're it's so a cute. little. Um, uh, We're networking, <laughs> which is funny because I'm trying cards. to make it in network marketing, so that's really funny. I thought because you probably like, do you have a mirror. Do you have a business card for your? Because um, you sell. Tell us about what you do. I mean, I'm I'm attempting. If I ever have time, I'm yeah. trying to sell shampoo from home with a What's great MLM. What's the wine called again? It's money. There's a Monet, lot of that's yeah. It. There's a that's lot right. of people out there. This yeah. is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. You're so so cute. when you're out there doing your networking with your Monet girls, right? You can just bust that out with your little cards. Amazing. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't have a business now card. I, I don't know cards. when I'm gonna have a business card. So, yeah, when people ask me, which I don't get asked that often, yeah. I'm always like, oh, I'm trying to be green. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, because in stand up, everyone's just like, "What's your Insta handle?" Like, we don't really. There's pass no around. cards. There's yeah. no real business cards. Yeah. yeah, we're 
Yeah, a bunch That's of... That's funny. Um, like, lazy rejects. Like, we don't even print business cards. Business? We're just like, yeah, what's business? Let me write it yeah. on a napkin. Uh, <laughs> post it. Okay. I love it. Oh, yeah, Kate, thank, you, thank you so much for yeah, doing this. I feel like you. this breaks the seal of sickness because it's just been oh, like, lockdown. I broke my wrist. We all got pink That's eye. Right. My son had a whooping cough scare. I mean, I've just basically been a hermit. Isn't it fun? <laughs> I, I'm a shut in, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, last night dinner was gyoza and carrot sticks because I had nothing. That else sounds to like a really Here we good go. dinner. Yeah. You know I mean? And I was like, that worked? Are you guys yeah. full? And did like, they yeah. eat it? Oh, yeah. yeah. See, oh, my love, kids, I make gyoza. dinner every night and they don't eat it and they just have a piece of toast. So I'm done with that. Like dino nuggets, mac and cheese, it's like the same thing every but day. But they won't the even eat that. Really? Yeah. But I went to the doctor and I said, Cocktail "My minis. son, <laughs> exact my my son won't eat. He's not eating vegetables." And he's like, "You know, you have to take one bite of everything, Declan. Promise me you will. You can't just eat quesadillas and mac and cheese. And what I didn't say to him is like, I would be so thankful if, that's if he what he ate quesadillas and mac and cheese. When I say he's not eating, it's like but a I mean, bagel every night. But I mean, if they get hungry, night. they'll tell you. You know what I mean? Like, they yeah. eat. It's just some variation of bread and jam so or smoothies. honey. There has to be smoothies where you sneak ish but in. But that he stopped. Won't do it. He's suspicious. Different flavors. I, th I yeah. think this is the summer I do smoothies again. Smoothies but are delicious. See, she can't do smoothies yeah. very sugar. much because it's too much sugar. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> God help me. I mean, this is definitely like. This too shall pass. I could just talk for three hours about how my kids don't eat. Like, right. it's therapy. insane. Yeah. No, I need therapy. It's frustrating. We, we need all need therapy. therapy. That's the thing. In this overworked, overstimulated world, Ow. we all need therapy. We all yeah. need somewhere to hash it out. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and we're we're also lonely. We've talked about this before. It's so hard to call someone and get someone actually listening to you. Because it's still kind of taboo. Yeah, and then you're scared to leave talk all your about stuff out and be vulnerable. Yeah, and because then, then people you're like judge Molly. you. Or yeah. they talk. Yeah. You want Molly? Molly, the Molly. Molly. That could Molly. be taken the really wrong way. Like, what did you think it was? <laughs> Molly, like Molly. <laughs> what is Molly? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, it's pure a drug. ecstasy. It's pure ecstasy. Yeah. Cause I've definitely MDM. been like I was in a show where she jokes like her. Yeah. She's on Molly, like the actressy, yeah. the actressy, <laughs> <laughs> the actressy is on Molly. I um, like it. But this was when I was having kids, so I missed the Molly conversation experience and right. all of it. Right. So I was like, what's Molly? Right. Raleigh. Ah. The alarm is going off. Ah. <laughs> Time to end the video. It's I been mean, an hour. Oh. So juicy. Like when people just watch this video, they're gonna be like, "She's so mean to her daughter." This is the only hour that she's not like glued to my side. That's right. what people don't understand. Like, if you go to my other channel, it's Any like mom knows that. we're playing with dolls, and you know, look like funny upside down. My channel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Upside down faces Rally. are funny. Rally. You can draw some eyeballs right there, and it's really funny. Really? Yeah, you yeah. can draw eyeballs on your chin. Your mommy will find Hilarious. a video for you after. Aww. Sweetie. <laughs> I'm sure. I am leaving in a couple hours. Thank Daddy you will be you. in charge. <laughs> Prep. <laughs> I am prepping you now that I am leaving in a couple oh. hours. Daddy will be in charge. I know that's crazy because I'm leaving Kinley too, and it's really hard to leave Kinley. And I know you're not supposed to sneak away, but like I have hey, to. I or she'll be crying for like an hour after I leave. An hour? Probably. Oh, I want no. mom. Okay, she especially because cries I'm, really hard well, for like 10 minutes. It's going to be one of the first times I've left her with just the boys. Yeah. Usually Madison or Devin are there too. Well, and that's the thing is they don't feel as safe. They're both coming to pink with me. I mean, the thing <laughs> is, is they'll be fine. They'll, well, for sure. The, no the guys, like dying. my husband will keep them alive. Yeah. It's just painful. mom. It's painful. Can anticipate what you need before you know you need it. That's and different. that's why they love being with their mommy. Yeah. Because the guilt for leaving. Yeah, yeah because um, we will we will um, anticipate every need. We'll, you know, listen to them and get on their level. And they say that we have an instinctual connection with them oh, because absolutely. we carry them in our body. They, like, take a piece of us with them. Yes. So there's that Absolutely. That, yeah. Absolutely. So cool. Such oh, a beautiful I want to share. I want to <laughs> share one more comic book thing because it's over here on the. Um, because I'm really sad. So it's called Shade, the Changing Girl, and I found it at the library. Cool. And I read the two volumes. They're like issues one through twelve. Amazing. And yes, 
And then I was crushed because they didn't publish anymore. And it's like, at the end of one, I don't want to spoil it, but there's like all these cliffhangers and I'm so invested. And I told Declan last night, like a piece of me is dead inside that I, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. I was so attached to this character. I mean, I felt like I was- about Stranger Things right now. Like when is Stranger Things going to come back? (laughs) Because I feel that it's like coming out of my subconscious. Isn't that funny? I mean, it's insane the way these um, serendipitous connections. Well, the universe is powerful. It is powerful. Yeah. And then we're all like kind of tapping into maybe the same stream of consciousness. And people yeah. are getting more woke. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah, it is trippy. Yeah. That is, so there's a jacket that's the madness. And so Ooh, she travels cool. from meta to earth. And it's based on um, a male character in the DC comics. I think called like Rack Shade or Rock Shade or something huh. like that. So this is like the female. Spin-off. Yeah, and it's so fantastic. And I just make more, DC. Yeah. Like, can people all, everyone that's watching this, like the five of you that find this, go buy it and like let's get it back in print because I'm dying to know what happens. I mean, comics are huge these yeah, days. They yeah, they are. And it's just so sad for me because all the ones that I'm obsessed with are like out of print or like get canceled like I'm but really, it'll eventually happen it'll happen it'll again. happen i mean the walking dead was a comic yeah i yeah. didn't know that yeah I mean, so like, much it, there's so, so many weird. worlds there's like, so many com- and i didn't know umbrella academy was actually a comic yeah like, i just thought someone made it up so so fantastic there's a lot of them there is a yeah. lot of them and um yeah because the other one i'm really obsessed with is the character hellcat which is part of the marvel franchise and she has been around since the 40s wow but she's been very little known and doesn't get a lot of issues but she's kind of woven in and out and then recently got i think 12 was it how many did they do quite a few actually because there's like i think five books of six or i don't know anyways issues that are out in print right now and but it it's not enough I want more. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. Enough right. Spider-Man already. No, I'm just kidding. I know there's I a lot of Spider-Man. Spider-Man. I love it too, but yeah. yeah. It's so homecoming. interesting. Yeah. I never cared about Spider-Man until Spider-Man Through the Spider-Verse. It's a good one. It's so good. It's I'm good now one. obsessed with Spider-Man. But bef- it's amazing how one property can just all of a sudden change your mind about everything. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. really powerful. No, he, yeah, he's never been one of my favorites. No, he's just like, too earnest yeah. and like, but I've always up been or like something. Batman. Yeah, everyone yeah. loves Batman, right? Right? Yeah. He's just so hot. <laughs> right? Yeah. Stark and raspy, mysterious. like yeah, there's sense of humor, so un- hot about unavailable, <laughs> un- emotionally it, unavailable, insecure. What is wrong with me? I was so isolated. <laughs> yeah. Womanizer. Oh dear lord. <laughs> it's all making right. sense. No. <laughs> right, Black Widow, she's the best. There we go. <laughs> Raleigh's favorite is Harley Quinn. Oh yeah. So cute. Yeah. That shit crazy. She does her, yeah, she does her hair and like tails. Yeah. Alright, Raleigh. You're gonna get me back for a couple hours and can then I've got to go. That's a wrap? <laughs> yeah, can you say bye bye? <laughs> hey, <laughs> wait, come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? No, you don't want to do that. Are you no. so shy? Yeah. Okay, with Aww. your diaper out. All right. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. 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 <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Love you, Kiki. Love you, Cuckoo. Is Love her you, goodbye. Cuckoo. Is that she did to blow his kisses? Aww. Love you, Cuckoo. Bye. 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 No one can see you, Raleigh. Bye. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thanks for hanging out. We'll talk bye. to you next week. Bye. bye.